I wanted to share a quick update on my Articopter setup. And I actually crashed this guy a few weeks ago and uh, didn't really sustain too much damage, but I did uh, knock one of these solder joints loose, so I had to replace that. And during the process and the purpose of this update, I busted these four, if you see these four red posts. So these are the actual nylon spacers that hold this power distribution board off the bottom of the frame. So you put it in and on both ends there's a nut that kind of attaches to the thread and you screw it into place. But So what I did in the meantime, since I don't have those you know, spare nylon spacers laying around, I uh, 3D printed four of these guys. So I did a little design and you can see it here and it's actually pretty close. I mean, it's definitely close uh, dimensionally, but from a rigidity perspective, it's real tough. So uh, the only problem, and you know, I was quite ambitious when I first got the the MakerBot Replicator 2, was I, I was determined to print threads. And so you know, there's two problems that that come of that right now. One is, you know, it's pretty hard, definitely in Rhino 3D to design a threaded pattern and for printing I think that's going to be even more uh, difficult. So um, what I'm doing in the meantime is if you take a look at these four guys and actually I'll flip it over and you see them coming through on the bottom. I've just gone ahead and put them into place and I just dropped one tiny bit on each post of thin CA glue and this thing is locked into place so I feel good about that. And what I'm going to do next is if you see this post and this hex spacer you'll notice that there's internal threads and so that threads right in. And I believe what I can do is actually I know I can design this and what I'll do is I'll actually make that um, internal thread system just a little bit of a smaller hole that's not threaded and then I'll try to basically get it to self-thread. Not sure if that's going to work, but definitely worth a try. And I realize that could be construed as overkill to 3D print. You know, something as simple as spacers. And I've actually been told many a time via email and through YouTube comments of the like. But uh, the reality of it is it's just a convenience factor of being able to uh, design that. And part of the learning process so that's just a quick uh, update on the build progress as I get my Arducopter put back together and ultimately aim to uh, beta test the Arducopter beta version 3.0 firmware. And if you have any use for uh, these spacers or any of the other spacer designs I'm working on, I will definitely uh, post those on garagepilots.com and uh, Thingiverse. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.